Today's video is going to be about a butterfly known as the Southern Dog Face. Check it out, guys. Does that look like a dog face to you? Coleus sasonia is a butterfly that lives in the southeastern United States. Um, it used to be a lot more widespread throughout Florida, uh, into South Florida, but we haven't seen them in South Florida in a very long time. I haven't seen them in a very long time. Um, I got my buddy Jeff from North Florida who sent me these specimens. We're going to add them to our collection um, here in this box of coleus. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about this butterfly that we very seldom ever see. I'm just going to move them over here and then we'll organize. I'll show you the difference between the boy and the girl and some of the different subspecies. All right. And these are some leaf wings from the Caribbean that were given to me as well. If you want to see a video on Caribbean leaf wings from the Cayman Islands and Puerto Rico, um, you know, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. You don't want to miss some of the action because we're going to go over some really, really cool bugs. I'm going to add them to this box here and talk about some of these beauties. But this video is about the southern dog face butterfly, uh, Coleus sasonia. Uh, guys, Coleus sasonia it used to be a lot more widespread. I remember when I was a little kid, probably 10 years old, seeing them in Boca Raton at a nature center called Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. It's been a long time since, I mean, I'm, I'm old now, I'm in my 40s. So we're, we're talking 40 years ago almost, or at least 35 years ago since I've seen this butterfly in South Florida. Um, males are a little bit smaller than the females. They're a little bit more brightly colored. Um, and they, you know, they got, they call them the dog face. On the forewing, they have this pattern that supposedly looks like the face of a dog. Comment down below if you think that looks like a face of a dog. I guess it could. Poodle face. Some people call them poodle face butterflies or whatever. Um, so, females, guys, are a little bit larger. They have a little bit more of a pointy forewing. They're not quite as bright colored yellow. They, you know, they, they get some of this little, this one's actually a little bit greased. Might have to degrease the specimen. Yeah, this one's got some grease in it. They feed on um, some different cassias and whatnot. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for the host plant. Uh, but we don't really see it a whole lot down here in South Florida anymore. Uh, I have a few that I've collected over the years. Some of these are from Texas. I think a couple of these are from South Florida from way back 28, 29, 30 years ago. Uh, but most of these are from Texas when uh, I, I saw a bunch of them in Texas. I haven't seen them in Florida in a very long time. Now, the genus Coleus is a very large group, and there's a whole bunch of them like these. Uh, you know, these are uh, Coleus uh, urethemi, the orange sulfur. You know, they're pretty variable. And then there's Coleus urodice which is the, uh, the clouded sulfur, you know, this, this yellow one. These are common bugs up in the north. They're alfalfa feeders. And uh, that guy's twisted a little bit there. Uh, and then, of course, there's a whole bunch of western coleus, which I'm not going to get into because that's all I got in this box. Now, this one is the, the southern dog face's closest relative in the United States. This is the California dog face. And they are absolutely stunning. And I actually, it's funny, I have more California dog face than I do Southern dog face that live in Florida. But these are absolutely stunning. These males, when they're fresh, have this bright purple uh, iridescent coloration on the forewing. And uh, hind wing is orange. Very beautiful butterfly. Uh, underside, just kind of regular sulfur looking yellow. The females are all yellow. They don't have any of that black marking on the top. So really cool bug. Um, it's been, you know, a while since I've been to California, but uh, I just thought it would be cool to show you some of those. And now I'm just going to add 
these butterflies to my collection here. These are from, let's see. Oh, these are from Illinois. Lake County. Huh. Lake County, Illinois. I didn't know they lived up there. Okay. Let's see if there are. they all from Illinois. Oh, this is Levy. This one's Levy County, Florida. So this is actually a Florida species, a Florida specimen of the southern dog face. And this one he has listed as um, Alachua County. So cool, I've got some variation on location, which is also kind of neat. Sometimes location, different locations uh, show different variations in the butterfly. So it's always neat to have a little bit of variation in where you're getting your specimens some from. So it's always neat to get a little bit of variation where you're getting your specimens from. Also, this is just a little thing where it's important always, guys, to label your specimen. You know, make sure you label your specimens. Do you get up a date? Make sure you have a location so that when you go back and you actually want to do some science, do you have the data on your specimen? Because if you have a whole box full of bugs, how do you know where you caught a certain one or when, what the date was? It's very important to make sure you're labeling your bugs. So guys, hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, pretty simple, I'm just showing you a little bit of a curation. These are specimens that were given to me. Uh, curating a box of coleus butterflies. I love sulfurs, they're amazing. And I thought you guys might like this video. So hope, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find us some cool dog face butterflies. Um, See, tell me, tell me, guys, comment down below if you know where to find the dog face butterfly in the state of Florida. Tell me where and when. I'd love to go do a video of them in the wild. Take care, guys. Bye now.